Hello everyone, my name is Michaela, and today we are going to be making a mood board for my new island citrine that I just recently started. So this was a really cool idea and I actually found um, some videos online that I really took inspiration from so I figured I would do my own mood board for citrine. The video that I'm thinking of is Kaylee Games. I will link her up in the top corner and then also down in the description. But yeah, let's just get right into planning. So I really want Citrine to be a very city core island. I normally go with very overgrown and natural kind of islands, but I really wanted to step out of my comfort zone and actually do something different. So a very like clean cut corner like very like straight and organized kind of layout not really messy like my other island castaway that's kind of like just jumbled up and very disorganized so yeah now let's just get right into the planning so this first page right here i am going to have the final like mood board on what i want everything to kind of look like but starting off i want to look at the villagers what villagers i would like to have in mind so right now we have muffy and sprocket on our island um, and at first I really wasn't into them. I wasn't sure if I was going to keep them on the island or not, but they kind of do fit the vibe of like city kind of villagers. So I'm just going to put them off to the side and I think I'm actually going to keep them. If I don't, I would probably get rid of Sprocket. Honestly, I've grown to love Muffy. She is a emo queen and... I just love her aesthetic so much. It's so cute. So these three villagers right here, Shep, Jacques, and Kyle. I think that's how you say his name, Jacques. Um, I first pronounced it as Jacques because I am illiterate. <laughs> so I have these on Castaway actually, and I was thinking about moving them over. So the reason why how everything started with my idea of the city core island was actually because on castaway i was going to create kind of like a band area like i was gonna have them have like instruments outside and like like a stage kind of set up and have it like be all grungy and stuff because i feel like these three they look like they would be in a band <laughs> so I had that idea for Castaway, but then I was like, wait, if I'm doing a City Core Island, that would be so, like, much better to have them on that. So I think I'm actually going to move them over from Castaway onto Citrine. So I think I definitely am going to have those three too. So we already have five kind of in mind. So yeah, I just looked through the whole list of Animal Crossing villagers and these are the ones I picked out. I really like the girlies that look very kind of like punk rock and like look like they would live in the city. Very cool vibes. Um, and then the same with the, the men. So I kind of picked like the grungier looking villagers. So we need five more villagers, so let's just get right to deciding. So right now, we literally only have one female, so I would really like Muffy to have some friends. So I picked out these villagers. These spe four specific villagers, I was thinking, would be a good friend of Muffy's because they seem very emo, and I don't know, they just fit the vibe. So any of these villagers, honestly, I would be very happy with getting. I'm not going to narrow this list down to just 10 villagers today because I would like to have an open mind because I am already regretting the idea of me going on a villager hunt to try to get 10 specific villagers. Well, I guess not 10 because I have like half of them, but five more villagers. I am going to hate myself by the end of it. So I'm going to have a very open mind on what I would like. So looking at Cephalobot now, I don't think he's going to really fit the vibe. Um, so I'm just going to get rid of him 
And then I'm gonna group this creepy looking mouse next to Barrel because I feel like out of all the villagers, these guys look so freaking creepy. So they're like the weirdos of the island if I decide to get them. I have never seen this man on a mystery island before, so I don't know if I'll get him. So I think I'm going to get rid of this squirrel right here. I forget her name. Okay, so I looked it up and her name is Tasha. I think I'm going to get rid of her. She seems like a great villager, but I don't think she 100% fits the vibe that I want. You know what? See, this is so hard because I, I want to keep all of these um, on the board because... So then if I happen to go to a island and I see one of them, I'll be like, oh, that one's like good enough, close enough to me. But if I delete her, I'm going to end up forgetting about her and not thinking that she is going to fit the vibe. So moving on, I really like boots, but his outfit, looking at it now, is so atrocious. I know you can change the outfits, but I am just going to delete him because I don't think I want him. Another thing that I want to do is kind of have like different kind of animals like I don't really want to have any repeat animals so I think I might get rid of Wolfgang and Fang because I already have Kyle so I'm going to get rid of them and then same with my girl Vivian I love her so much I think she is a queen but honestly I don't think she would be living on the island that I am going to be making. I am so obsessed with Tiffany. She is such a serve. I really want her. I originally wanted her on my castaway island, but then I was like, wait, like she'd be great on the city core island. So I would really like to get her. I think she is such a sleigh. Like I, that's all I really have to say. So between Chow and Grizzly, I would really like the idea of Grizzly, but I think I'm actually going to have Grizzly on Castaway Island, and then I'll have him kind of in like a wooded area because he looks like just like a bear. So I think I like the idea of having Chow, but I am not set on these villagers. I am more set on these villagers um, because like I said again, there are so many men. <laughs> compared to women so I kind of want to like eve out, even out the playing field. I would like to have like five women, five men. That would be very ideal but if I don't, I don't. So Roscoe, I think I am actually going to get rid of too. I might regret that decision and if I happen to come across him on a villager island, I might pick him up still if I remember him. <laughs> so yeah, but he definitely fits like the very cool like vibe. I really love the way that Quinn looks, but I just really am not a fan of like the eagles or like the birds. So I am going to get rid of her because I'm being picky. So now we have these villagers that I would consider any one of these, but they are not set in stone that I 100% want them on my island. All of these villagers are the ones that I 100% want on my island. So out of Barreled and Limburg, I think I would like to go with the cheese looking ugly rat <laughs> because I don't know, Barreled scares me. He just genuinely scares me. So this is kind of like the final pick that I would like to have. Now this obviously is way more than 10 villagers, but these are my, I really want them. Like I, they are definitely going to be on the island. I think Sprocket is still hit or miss. I might not want him still. I might replace him for somebody else if it comes down to it. And then these are all the villagers that I would be very happy with if I happen to get. Actually, Weber, I'm going to delete you because you are also on Castaway and I, I'm i fine with just keep, keeping him on Castaway. He, He's okay on Castaway. So yeah, this is kind of the vibe I'm going for. Like I said, this is more than 10 villagers, so... I will have to narrow down these and these, but 
I would be happy with any of these villagers. I think they look really cool. And yeah, that's it. So moving on now, I found some inspiration photos um, offline off of Google and also off of Pinterest. So each image has a like story that I want to share. So I loved the idea. One of the main things um, I really wanted on my the city core island is a kind of bridge like river with like pathing on both sides like I love this idea so much I'm definitely going to have this in my island and then even right here you can kind of see that I really like that with the waterfall too as well so I might add those together they might be the same no I don't think they are but they look very similar looking at it now so yeah that's one of the things that I would really like I know that seems kind of silly for me to say oh I want like bridges and rivers but I really like the way that this looks and I think it would be awesome to have on my island another thing is I put this kind of train station I I really like this picture but I don't think I'm going to recreate or do a similar picture I'm probably going to do a more like subtle train track that you could just like kind of walk over but having a train uh, track would be really nice I probably won't go into detail and make a actual train I don't really know we'll see where that goes <laughs> so the next image is a whole bunch of villager houses with yards I want each of my villagers to have a nice like clean cut square like yard and I want them to be next to each other. Now these, I don't want it this clean cut where it looks like this, but something similar to this. And maybe I'll have the villagers split into kind of like two different neighborhoods. I would like to have like a neighborhood area and then a shopping district area and kind of like have sections. I think that would look really cool. So the next photo, when I saw this photo, I thought this was perfect. I love the idea of integrating a, like the path right along the beach. I think that would be awesome. I'm definitely going to do this with my island. And I really wanted to add this because I like this so much. I know it seems very simple, again, like the bridge, but I really wanted to add that. And then next, I was thinking that this would be a good photo for my entrance kind of having like a little like park area kind of a waterfall with a bridge i'm definitely going to add whether it's along like this path or not i would really like something similar to this and then moving on down here i saw this and i was like oh my god i need this on my island so i plan on having one of my villagers' houses turned into a grocery store. I think this image is so awesome. I think the happy home paradise where we can decorate the villagers' houses interior is awesome. So I am definitely going to make one of my villagers' houses own a grocery store. And now next up, this is a dock. I don't think I'm going to create a photo that's like this. But I really like this image of like the boat by the water. So I might do something similar to this, but maybe a different vibe. But I really like the idea of having like a dock or like a very big river. I see those on islands and I have never really made like a big like river or lake because I thought it was a waste of space and would take up too much but I think that would be really good in this town. And then lastly, this is the more grungier side. I want to have a kind of little area, maybe by Shep, Kyle, and Jacques' house that kind of seems more grungier and dirty. So I put this photo down and I'm going to want to like add like a junkyard. I think that would be really cool. I already did kind of like a junkyard video. Um, I will put that in the card above if you would like to watch that, but that was for um, like Red's little secret beach area. And I think that looked really cool, but I definitely made it like small, like it was a very small build. So I would like to do something bigger and add a whole bunch more like furniture items. So yeah, now moving down to the last section is the building ideas. Now I know I kind of talked about that 
on the inspiration page, but again, I want to kind of reiterate the ideas that I want. I will probably also pop up more uh, images on the screen that I find that I think would depict exactly what I'm trying to explain. So starting with the first one, I, like I said, I want to do a train station slash railroad. I think that idea would be very awesome. And also having it go around my island would also be super cool. I've also seen images online of train stations that people have built inside of villager houses or their houses. So I think that would be so awesome if I could like pull that off and have somebody go inside and it be like the train station. I think that would be really cool. So again, I'm reiterating the yards for each villager. I want to have like a nice big yard for each villager and have like items that they would like in it, like kind of like their aesthetic like outside. Now not every villager is I think going to have a house that has a yard because like I said, I would like to have one of the villagers houses be a grocery store. So I will definitely place that in a different area, not in the neighborhood area. So I will have to pick and choose which villager I would want for each kind of community building. And then next I have a dock slash river slash water area. I know this isn't very descriptive, but I wanted to remember to put this down. The river area that I'm thinking about goes back to this area with the bridges. And then the water area is like the lake slash like dock. So those all go hand in hand. And then again, I want the junkyard. I think having a junkyard with like Shep's house or Kyle's house would be really awesome. And then I would really like to have like a performance stage. Maybe I'll even make one of the interiors of their houses kind of like a, like a raunchy kind of like club vibe because I feel like they give off that vibe so I think having one of their houses be like the place where they perform would be like so awesome. And yeah, that's all I have for the building ideas. I will definitely probably think of more but just off of the mood board idea, I think this is plenty of ideas to go off of. So yeah, now that I explained everything, now let's go on to actually creating the mood board. So this is probably going to be the hardest part for me because I have never made a mood board, so I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, I already looked at some images. I really like this image here for being like the background, kind of like a gradient vibe because I saw in Haley Games she just made a photo have a blur to it and it looked really cool so I think if we just blurred it out the whole way I think that looks really cool. Um, I've seen other people do this as well. So now I am going to add the text box and it is obviously going to say citrine. I don't know what font I want so that might take me a minute. I know you guys can't see this part right now so I will probably just skip to whenever I find the font I want. So I think this font is really cool so I'm going to go with this one. I think I'm going to make the font not black but like a dark color to kind of blend in with everything and I'll center it. And then I am going to look up paint stroke to add to the background I think that would look really nice or kind of like a splatter or something. So this is what I came up with to start. I might change around the background color because I don't know if I'm liking the pinky purple kind of vibe. I'm not sure if that really fits this vibe of citrine but we will see once I start placing the villagers down. Um, so I am going to copy these and paste them right on to here and I'm just gonna kind of place them sporadically around here. I'll probably move them around more. So I kind of place them around the circle like this. Like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing. This is the first time I've ever done this. So moving on, I would really like to add some of the images that I found for inspiration 
So I like this image right here. I'm actually going to crop out the username. I'm sure if you look that up on Instagram, they will come up. So I'm going to drag this image on. I'm going to maybe rotate it a little bit. I think I'm going to put it in this corner. So Tiffany, you will have to move. So I am going to add this one kind of in the bottom corner. And then I'm also going to add this beautiful bridge area. I think that looks really nice. Maybe I'll make this a little bit bigger. So I really like this image as well, but I don't really like the fact that Tom is in there. Maybe I will crop him out. Um, or maybe I'll keep him in. <laughs> I don't know. No, I'm sorry, Tom. I am I'm actually going to prop you out. I'm so sorry. So here are the images. I think this is looking pretty good so far. I am not that good. The only thing that I don't like is Sprocket, um, Tiffany, and Muffy really are not fitting the color vibe and it's kind of throwing me off. But I am just going to ignore that and act like that is not happening. So now I am going to add images of the items that I want. So these images really aren't that good quality, but this is for me. So if it doesn't look the best, that's okay because this is just an idea of kind of what I want everything to look like. It doesn't have to look perfect. So I'm adding some city items. I'm kind of just, I guess I should just throw them in here and then organize some later. I think that would be better. So we have the park bench. We have some cars. We have this utility pole. I think that is so city. That's like the most city item, I feel like, other than the cars. I really love this lighthouse. I was originally going to go with the brick look, but I am actually now going to go with the classic red one because I think a classic red and white lighthouse is just too iconic. So we're gonna have the wear open sign, maybe kinda separate everything. I think I'm actually going to go in and make these items a little bit bigger so they are better to see. I originally made them smaller because I didn't want the quality to show how bad the like, quality they were. I don't have too many more items so I think I'm going to make these bigger so then it fills up the space more. I have so many different items now. I'm really trying to make these items kind of even as well, like size-wise, like kind of, you know, like Sprocket is not that big compared to this fountain, but it's kind of hard to make the size ratio kind of realistic. So this is what I have kind of came up with. I used a lot of very city inspired items that I will definitely use uh, going through this. I know Sprocket's kind of in like a weird place and same with Tiffany, but I feel like these three are in a very good like group of kind of like dirty, dingy items. And then Muffy is just living a nice like park by the beach life. So yeah, these are all the items that I think I would really like to use. So yeah, these are the items that I am probably going to be using most of them, um, if not all of them. I really like the way that they look. Maybe I'll make her a little bit bigger. She seems like to be the smallest one. I'm having such a hard time grabbing each individual one because they're all like layered on top of each other. I think this came out really nice though. I wasn't expecting it to kind of look this way in the end but I really like the way it looks and it's not really I'm not trying to make it perfect it's just kind of like an idea of what I would like my island to look like and so yeah this is the final product and I I am content with how it turned out I think it's good I will probably also make a mood board video for my other island castaway because I am going to be doing a whole revamp of that island because I realized 
that I was trying to make Castaway more, you know, city-like and modern, but I really want Castaway to be a very overgrown, but livable kind of they took it over they found this deserted island and made it into a home and that's why i called it castaway because the villagers made a deserted island into something great and on that note i am going to end the video here i hope you guys all enjoyed and if you did maybe hit the subscribe button and the like button i would really like to hear your feedback in the comments of what you think about it and maybe i hope I even inspired some of you guys to make some mood boards because like I said I have never made a mood board and honestly this was so much fun I want to make a mood board for everything now I will probably do more videos on making a mood board because it is so fun to do and very easy and relaxed anyone can do this and it doesn't have to look perfect so yeah I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are and I will see you in the next video bye